Hi, this is Mike with Squirrel the Layer Tree Browser for After Effects. If you've used any 3D software like Cinema 4D, you learn to rely on the Object Manager to help keep track of the objects in your scene and manage their parenting relationships, as well as grouping objects to make object navigation more straightforward. Now in After Effects, you work on a timeline that's a long vertical list, with parenting represented with drop-down lists. This is confusing to set up and even more difficult to decipher when opening up another artist's file. Squirrel brings the Object Manager's functionality to After Effects. With Squirrel, compositions with many layers are far easier to navigate, and you'll no longer find yourself pre-comping layers as a form of housekeeping. Interacting with Squirrel is pretty intuitive. When you launch it, you'll get an empty panel. To refresh it with the data from your open comp, just select your comp or timeline and wave your cursor over it. You can do your parenting in your timeline, then move your cursor over Squirrel to refresh it. Or you can drag and drop your layers within Squirrel to build your parent chains, just like you would in Cinema 4D. To unparent a layer in Squirrel, just drag the layer above its parent. Squirrel is strictly a hierarchy editor, so layers will be automatically sorted to match stacking order. This means you can't rearrange siblings. However, change stacking order in your timeline, and you'll see Squirrel update accordingly. You can select sibling layers by holding Shift, or you can select non-continuous sibling or non-sibling layers by holding Control on PC or Command on Mac. If you turn off a layer, it will become grayed out in Squirrel. Also, if your layer is not active at the current time, you'll see a left or right arrow button appear to indicate that the layer is active before or after the current time. Click on that arrow to go to the nearest point in time when that layer is active. Clicking on a carrot will expand or collapse any parent layers, and holding Alt while clicking a carrot will recursively collapse or expand any parent layers beneath it. Squirrel has a toolbar with some really useful tools. The plus and minus buttons will expand or collapse everything. The Select Children button will include all immediate children in your selection. Holding Alt will select immediate children and deselect the parent. Holding Shift will select all children recursively. To deselect all, you can click any space below your tree, or you can use the Deselect All button. Holding Alt while clicking that will invert your selection. Light Table Mode is extremely useful. It temporarily puts an effect on all your layers reducing their opacity, and Squirrel will temporarily disable that effect on any layer selected. It's super handy when navigating through uncropped Photoshop layers, and when you exit light table mode, Squirrel removes that temporary effect from all your layers. Squirrel has a search box. It will reveal and highlight any matching layer names. Inactive or disabled layers will still be grayed out except for their layer numbers. And there's a simple coloring menu to help you quickly manage the color labeling of selected layers. Right-clicking your selection in Squirrel gives you some more quick and useful tools. You can enable or disable your layers here. You can also rename, delete, and reveal source if your layer is a footage item. Or you could also rename a layer by alt-clicking it. Grouping and ungrouping is pretty cool and very useful in organizing your comp without having to make pre-comps. Make a selection of layers and choose group. This will make a parent null placed in the average position of your layers called squirrel group. Now you can rename it to something appropriate and collapse that group to make your comp more streamlined. If you select any parent layer and choose ungroup, it will unparent any of its child layers. If you put a pre-comp in your timeline, you'll notice a plus sign button appear. When you click on this, you can actually peek into the contents of this pre-comp without leaving your current comp. You can't actually manipulate anything there though. Also, any pre-comps within that pre-comp are expandable too, and you can make any of those your current comp by double-clicking them. Squirrel works appropriately when your comp is in shy mode. You'll see a shy guy icon next to your active comp indicator, and any shy layers will be removed. Now, if you shy a parent layer, all of its immediate children will have a black bar above them. This is to indicate that their immediate parent is shied. So, what they appear to be parented to is actually a grandparent or an ancestor, so be careful when moving those around. Here are some tips. If you have a tall timeline, you may select something in Squirrel that you don't immediately see selected in your timeline. Instead of scrolling up and down to find it, you can hit X to reframe your timeline so that the selected layer is at the top of your timeline window. 
Squirrel refreshes whenever you enter your mouse over the panel. So do keep in mind that Squirrel won't live update as you're working in the timeline or changing your active composition. Just wave your mouse over Squirrel and it updates to any changes you've made and matches your currently selected layers. Also keep in mind that if you undo an action while using Squirrel, you must move your mouse outside then back into Squirrel to refresh it. You can tweak some of your preferences in the flyout menu. Here you can choose whether to show tooltips on your menu buttons, you can adjust your light table opacity when in light table mode, and you can choose on focus instead of on mouse enter to refresh Squirrel. On focus just means you need to click inside your Squirrel panel to refresh it instead of just waving your mouse over it. Squirrel would not have been possible without the help of JS Tree, a free open source jQuery plugin distributed under the MIT license. As you can see, it allows the creation and customization of interactive web based tree views. Go to jstree.com to learn more. Thanks for watching. Download the free trial, open up some of your hairiest projects, and see how Squirrel can make your life a lot easier.